Ontario and Israel share many common priorities. Both regions are hubs for R&D, for ICT, venture capital, and both regions share an interest in developing strong, competitive business environments that spur innovation and growth. And I think that, I think that innovation spark is what uh, is very important. The uh, work we were looking at this morning in terms of the genome research that's being done into uh, autism, one of the key uh, aspects of that is early identification of, uh, of autism and the work that is being done here will allow for that early identification. It's quite, it's quite remarkable the, the, um, the progress that's been made. <clears throat> the Ontario Brain Institute is a perfect example of the type of successful partnership that we're hoping to foster through our international missions. The OBI is a groundbreaking institute that helps take neurotech ideas from concept to commercialization and bridge the gap between research and the marketplace. Its foundations were laid during Ontario's 2010 mission to Israel, and in a few years the OBI has been in operation. It has already helped Ontario become a world leader in brain research. This morning, you and your colleagues have seen some of the breakthrough research being done here at SickKids. You've met with researchers who represent the work of over 200 others spread across Ontario that collaborate within the OBI's research programs. One reason for this lies within the mandate of the Ontario Brain Institute. One of the goals is to drive international partnerships. That's a very simple reason for this, that scientific research is a global enterprise. The days of the lone scientist working alone in the laboratory are long gone, and it's clearly a team sport. Today, and increasingly tomorrow, the more you can play well with others, the better, and the more likely your work will achieve the type of impact and global recognition that the researchers uh, are getting. OBI has already partnered internationally with the OECD in Europe to explore the impact that big data can have on the treatment and care with people with Alzheimer's disease. And last fall, we forged a partnership with the National Institutes of Mental Health in the US to share data housed in our Brain Code Big Data platform and uh, this is poised to take research collaboration to the next level. And incidentally, this partnership was the very first international collaboration undertaken by that NIH branch. In the months ahead, we hope to announce more international partnerships and collaborations, and certainly Israel, with its wealth of neuroscience research, will lead the way.